All right, welcome back in, everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to make a sarcophagi. Sarcophagus, uh, this one I did off-center a little bit. Uh, it is a bit of a challenge, so this is another one of those OCD warnings, because getting things perfect, you know, like this one's right at the edge, this one's off a little bit. It, it's tough. Uh, I put a bunch of different ones up here to give you some ideas of what different things would look like if you placed them. Uh, I did go through a gambit of what I thought would work and turned out didn't work. Various stone types, uh, even just an all wood one, and eh, most of them didn't look. I, I really don't care for the wood very much. I just like the fancy stone, and so it serves its purpose. Now, contrary to belief, the shorter version is what you would think would be appropriate because if you look at the size of us and the size of the short table, it, it seems appropriate. It just looks weird when you do the short one. I mean, even if you go as far as look at this one, it, it looks like a baby sarcophagus. Even though it's actually our size, it looks tiny. So, eh, you know, uh, do with that as you will. So first we start off this is what I consider to be one of two of the best material types and this is going to be refined stone block so with snapping off I'm going to show you what this looks like so that's it's these uh, I think they're called corbels these little rounded bits right there is what really makes that pop and so you've got the refined stone here and this is the stone Sorry, there we go. Stone Banquet Table. And by the way, you will be uh, chewing through uh, shelving. It doesn't matter which type you use, but you're gonna lose every one that you use. So this one I placed Fancy Stone, is that right? Yes, Fancy Stone. If you only go up two, it gives you kind of a wooden look to it. And this one I used a wooden banquet table. Um, I think it'd be a little better if we have the had the carved like this, where it had this scrolling along this edge. I think it would look a little bit better, but it is what it is. Uh, it looks all right. It just it doesn't look the part very well. And a part of the reason why I did different stones was to and um, show you different looks like this one isn't all that sarcophagi looking but it's all right so this one's desert temple so desert temple um it's not really high enough to get the columns you, you can see just a little bit of the column right there it's okay um it serves its purpose and this is going to be palm wood banquet table I think the ones with some kind of a round, rounded, chamfered, 45 edge, I think that looks better than just the square. And then this one, I'm actually, I really like this. I think this is the second best stone material to look, use, which I believe is weathered. Pretty sure it's weathered. Yep, weathered stone. Whoops. So weathered stone applies some bones and things to it now and again, and it just it looks the part really nicely. And this is a sun lounger. Thought that looked out looked pretty well. Uh, pretty nice looking in my opinion. So here's how we do it. We are going to get one singular block, and we're just going to go like that. The only reason this is a metal wall is just to give you contrast, so you can really see it. So just a single block, that's all we need. Then I'm going to center the little white circle on this single block. I'm gonna go, boom. As soon as it shows up, that's what you want. That's all the height you need out of it. You just need that little, barely, barely a lip. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna use this again. Just like we did down there. Now I'm gonna center the leg, which is the white dot, on that as well. The difference is instead of just coming out of the wall, I'm going to do it the opposite. I'm going to come just up this so where it just raises up, move it just maybe a hair, 
And if I look down the line, I think that's probably going to be good. Get my uh, trusty little hammer back. And we are going to go to the good stuff. Refined stone block. We're going to come back to this number seven. Remember, snapping is off. If I had snapping on, it's going to do all kinds of weird stuff. Is it going to make me go all the way? Maybe. I might have to go one extra. I do have to go... Well... Tassels aren't killing me. Mm, I don't know if I lo love that, the way it ended up that way, but... We'll leave it. We'll see what happens. Finish it out on the back. I actually, honestly, could have brought that shelf up just a teeny tiny bit more than what I did. And it would have been fine. Because getting the full lip right here is what you really want. So let's, uh, let's bring this back. And also, I am going to slightly off-center this. Nope, I want this. Let's go back to this bad boy. So what I did is there. Let's go up about that. And on this table, we're going to side-center it just a little bit. Right, like that. It's always a little dodgy because every stone type does a thing a little bit different than the last stone type. That's going to be a little bit better. It's still off by a little bit, but it's going to be a little better. It's okay if it's off by a little bit because then that gives you places to put uh, candles and urns and various other things. Yeah, see, that's better. So now that sticks up, I don't know, inch and a half or something like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the centimeters. I apologize to my the rest of the world. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. It looks really nice. It, it's actually fair. I did fairly well on the centering. Uh, top to bottom is not perfect, but it is not bad at all. Uh, like I said, gives you places you can stick urns and things up. But yeah, that is how you do the illustrious sarcophagus. Uh, with the long one being, I don't know. It, it is strange because this should be what we put, but the small one, as you can see by this one, it almost looks like it's a, oh, let me get this off of here. It almost looks like it's for a baby. I don't know why. It's hard to explain that because it would fit us perfectly, I'm sure, but it looks too small in comparison to this. I don't know. Maybe it's just the more substantial footprint that uh, gives it the better look, I guess. All right, thanks for watching, guys.